The Humble Hubble Telescope is something that many take for granted. It's been beaming amazingly detailed and altogether otherworldly images to the Earth for three decades now, helping to fundamentally change our understanding of the universe and the celestial bodies in it. The machine itself is a marvel of modern engineering. It was specifically designed to be up in orbit for the long haul, and its uniqueness allows it to be repaired and upgraded by astronauts with technological advancements, making it one of the longest-lived and most valuable space observatories. Welcome to Fact Nominal. Today, we're celebrating 30 years of amazing space photos in the Hubble Telescope's best picture so far. The Cosmic Reef, NGC 2014 and NGC 2020. The blue ring is the glowing oxygen of the HGC 2020 nebula, a residual shroud formed by the excessive overflow from a massive, insanely hot star sitting at the center all on its lonesome. The red NGC 2014 is the complete opposite, a red garden of reflective dust and gas that acts as a nursery for newborn stars. Lagoon Nebula, Herschel 36 The Lagoon Nebula has Herschel 36 at its center, a star 200,000 times brighter than our Sun. The violent emission of ultraviolet radiation causes the stellar wind to act like a tropical storm, whipping the dust and gas around it into ripples and ridges. Lightsaber, Herbig Harrow 24 A young star within HH24 is blazing hot, and although it's obscured by a Jedi's robe-shaped cloud of dust, it shoots out twin jets of superheated gas, looking almost exactly like a double-ended lightsaber. Pillars of Creation, Eagle Nebula The Pillars of Creation are a five-light-year-tall structure resembling an outstretched hand. They are composed of cold hydrogen gas laced with just the right amount of dust, making them not only breathtakingly beautiful, but a super producer of baby stars. Saturn Just a stunning picture of Saturn, nothing fancy. Sometimes a picture says a thousand words. Milky Way Bulge How many stars can you fit in one frame? The Milky Way is a crowded galaxy with an unusually high density of stars of all different sizes, colors, and ages. The image itself is a composite of visible lights overlaid with near-infrared light. Bubble Nebula NGC 7635 A robust star 45 times the size of our Sun is blowing a bubble using its 4 million mile per hour solar wind, pushing cold interstellar gas out in front of it like a snowplow forming the seven-light-year diameter Bubble Nebula. The Whirlpool Galaxy, NGC 5194 The radiating arms of the Whirlpool Galaxy are a perfect example of a typical spiral structure. The older stars at the core give off a golden light, with younger white and blue stars in the tendrils superheating the gas around them, giving off a more crimson hue. Jupiter this simple image of Jupiter shows the great red spot in awesome detail. It's actually a super intense storm that is 1.3 times as wide as the Earth and has been raging for at least 400 years. Abel 370 No, those bright lights aren't stars, they're galaxies. Several hundred, in fact, of various shapes, sizes, and colors, all pulled together to form the Abel 370 cluster, thanks to our old friend, gravity. The enormous gravitational force acting on the cluster is enough to magnify and distort light. The Crab Nebula What happens when a star experiences an especially violent death? The Crab Nebula The neutron star at its center pulses 30 times a second, emitting a pale blue light as electrons are whipped around at near the speed of light by the rapidly changing magnetic fields. The Crab Nebula Spectrograph Art isn't all about realism, and sometimes beauty can be abstract. This image shows the hourglass-shaped southern aspect of the Crab Nebula, separated into specific wavelengths of light, sorted by the emissions from hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, and nitrogen. Westerland 2 The Westerland 2 cluster is a woven tapestry of over 3,000 stars, shining together like exquisitely colored fireworks in the night sky. It's a hotbed of the gas and dust required to generate a rich population of newly formed stars. 
the Orion Nebula. Orion's belt can be seen in the night sky from the surface of the Earth, an east-to-west orientation helping sailors in the northern hemisphere navigate on the high seas. These super-hot, super-bright stars are surrounded by a whole nebula of younger stars. Eta Carinae No, it's not a baboon's rear end. It's Eta Carinae, a supermassive star with a bad temper. It's prone to violent outbursts, ejecting a huge amount of core material forming two bright magnesium-rich clouds. Sombrero Galaxy M104 Sometimes naming celestial bodies is dead easy. The obviously named Sombrero Galaxy features a bright center with an unusually large central bulge. The dark dust along its circular edge completes the look. Tequila shots all around. The Veil Nebula The Veil Nebula is arguably the most well-known supernova remnant, situated in the Gignus constellation. It's unique in that it has delicately folded filamentary structures, formed by wisps of gas. The crumbled bedsheet appearance is caused by the residual force of the dead star's stellar wind. NGC 602 – Small Magellanic Cloud As the NGC 602 cluster of newly formed, ferociously hot blue stars hungrily munch material around them, they are creating a black void in their section of the Small Magellanic Cloud. The high-energy radiation emitted by the clumps of younglings is eroding the surrounding cloud like a dental decay cavity in Tuthinau. Mars and the Moon a time-lapsed composite image taken by Hubble showed the small moon Phobos dancing around Mars as it made its way through its orbit around the planet. Thirteen separate exposures were taken over a 22-minute period, filming one of the smallest moons in our system, just 16.5 by 13.5 by 11 miles, shaped a bit like a football. Horsehead Nebula The Horsehead Nebula is nestled within the Orion constellation and is a fan favorite with both amateur and professional astronomers. It has shadowy, translucent appearance that resembles a ghostly specter when viewed in infrared, like it is in this image. NGC 3603 Located over 20,000 light-years away is a high concentration of supermassive stars that form the NGC 3603 cluster in the Carina constellation. We can see them so clearly as they have completely exhausted all the nearby gas and dust, then pushing away the remainder with strong bursts of UV radiation and stripping stellar winds. Cat's Eye Nebula Eye of the Tiger, or penetrating gaze of the sorcerer Sauron from J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. The Cat's Eye Nebula was one of the first nebulae to be discovered and to date, it still has one of the most complex structures, consisting of concentric shells of different gases and jets of high-speed plasma, causing knots and swirling patterns through them. Hubble Ultra Deep Field Image It may not look like it, but there are over 10,000 galaxies contained in this one image. It's the culmination of separate exposures taken over a decade between 2002 and 2012, combining the visible light, infrared, and ultraviolet spectrums. Some of the galaxies shown are old, able to be aged to within 100 million years after the Big Bang. The Butterfly Nebula The ornate wings of the Butterfly Nebula are actually boiling cauldrons of superheated gas at more than 36,000 degrees Fahrenheit and ripping through space at more than 600,000 miles per hour. The delicate-looking gas would complete the trip from Earth to the Moon in just 24 minutes. NGC 1300 Unusual for a spiral-shaped galaxy, NGC 1300 has a huge barrel-shaped nucleus, with just two short, stumpy arms of younger stars extending out from its oversized center. It's unsure why there are so many older yellow stars in the thick, bulging bar. It's thought that a smaller spiral galaxy of only yellow stars exists at the center, or a galaxy within a galaxy. NGC 2174 – Monkey Head Nebula This is an infrared light portrait of the birthing ground of young stars within the Monkey Head Nebula, dubbed NGC 2174. The dark brown clouds of dust intermingle with the pale blue gas as both slow down as they meet causing a helical rotation that acts as the catalyst of star formation. 
Antennae Galaxies The antennae galaxies are a prime example of what happens when an orbiting pair of young galaxies eventually collide and are absorbed by one another. This process has been going on for over a hundred million years, and before the merger is complete, billions of stars will have been formed to make up the new larger galaxy. V838 Monoceratus The Hubble was able to capture the expanding light echo from the supergiant star V838 Monoceratus over the course of several years, showing how the billowing spirals of dust were thrust through trillions of miles of interstellar space as the force of the star propelled the dull clouds. ARP273 The spiral structure of ARP273 is highly irregular and lopsided, forming a rose shape. This is due to the fact that a very small companion galaxy below it is exerting gravitational force on the trailing arms. Eventually, the larger ARP273 will absorb its tiny neighbor. Carina Nebula the center of the Carina Nebula is a storming tempest, a 50 light year wide maelstrom of star birth and star death, punctuating its fabric of dust and gas. It's a stitched together mosaic formed by 48 separate Hubble high definition images, painting a broader picture of how stars form within such a tumultuous environment. <laughs>